it's like I don't know if they forgot what they did previous episodes or they just don't give a fuck. Because first of all, Bakari's just kicking it with him. He ain't got no suit on. Yeah. So this means dude, I gave him a vacation or gave him some time off or something. Because sure. he's just kicking it with them. He got time to go to church with them. Yeah, you would sure. think with all the suits he wears, he would wear at the church. Mm-mm. Not in there. Uh, we were supposed to forget that Jake was just flirting with this girl. The uh uh the one that Papa was talking to right, who Kenya. didn't like her daddy when we was introduced to her. It seemed like her daddy had like ex nate her because she got pregnant or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. But in here, he's like, it's my daughter, I love her type shit. It's weird as fuck. Uh, like you said, Jake checks her out on stage. This guy has a big congregation, but she only notices uh Jake. She liked his dress. I guess I guess that's what it was. She, said. she was just like, I like your dress. Yeah, it was just weird. The interaction was weird. And then it's like uh, like you said, she did the follow on Instagram. She come to the house. She suck him off. Crazy. It's it's it's, it's <laughs> insane. It's insane. But it's like at the same time, the preacher was giving off this weird vibe as if like he sent her to do it. You are now tuned into Black on Black Crime. Right. disclaimer no matter if we liked your movie liked your show or hated the show or hated your movie it doesn't matter we respect you shout out to you and we support you and we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you black on black prime we stand on what we say though and just like always if you didn't ask for our opinion we didn't ask you to listen to it so sorry click and turn it off <laughs> <laughs> You won't be needing that. I already ordered for you. Being here with you right now, um, it's probably been like the highlight of my week. (laughs) (laughs) Everything okay? Stop playing with me. I'm not even about to let you pull me out of my character right now. Some people just can't take a hint. I'm like your own girl, Tasha. Why do you keep calling me? I don't have nothing else to say to you. I don't really have any words for you, and I don't really want to hear shit you got to say. It just seem like negative people seem to bring out the negativity in me. Only you can control your reactions. I'm outside. Oh my God. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, we back. We are back for another episode of The Shy, season six, episode 11. Man, has they, has the season ever went this many episodes or did it stop at 10? I'm not sure, but I, I feel like with The Shy, it has been like this. That has been a lot of episodes. I feel like I'm, I'm not sure, though. But but, you know, um, like with Soul Food, they was doing a lot of episodes like that, too. Like the seasons be long, which I'll be appreciating. Yeah. Would you go back on this season, on this uh show? Like start from the beginning? Yeah. Like is it one of them? Do you just kinda want to see the, the beginning again? You know what? I would, but I don't think I would watch it fully through. Mm-hmm. I think I would get to a point and just be like, nah, I can't keep going. Yeah, like I don't need to see this episode. Right, yeah, because right. I, I think they lost a lot of steam with losing Jason Mitchell. And then after that, it was kind of cool. 
but then it just got super goofy. I didn't like that. I didn't like, I think it was season three, them starting it off with his funeral and not saying like how just, no, we just know Duda killed him. Like that's it. I don't like, I didn't like that. And then his mom shooting Duda or whatever. I, I don't know what, <laughs> it's funny because we wasn't doing a podcast back then. I was like, I'm trying, trying to think what kept me on the show. Uh, There was not, there, was, there wasn't a lot of black shows out. Wasn't nothing on. Yeah. We, we be like desperate for black, for black uh entertainment. Hmm. And I think that's why Tubi blew up the way it did. We'd be just so desperate to get because we had we had shit like Black Stars and all of this shit where we could watch shit. Yeah, but once that one was gone, it was like it's gone. Now we just searching. We did grow up on a lot of black films. Like everything mm-hmm. that came out was like either you know it came in the theaters. It was like you know the we were hip on the low budget movies like the you know Master P dropping movie or something like that. Yeah, but, you know we were hip to that, but we still had movies like booty call you know yeah. you know yeah uh remember bait with jamie fox like that was just oh, a yeah movie. like you know what i mean but it's like, i really like bait too <laughs> yeah too it was like it was in theaters but like nowadays it's just like so many of them but like now i was talking to my wife just weekend actually just about the movies i'm just like man like they be right there like some of these movies be right there and then they do something that i don't like i'm like why would you it's a thriller. Why'd you it's, why'd you make yeah. that funny? Why is why is that part supposed to be funny? Like why? Like why'd you put that nigga in there to sound like that? <laughs> it feel it feels like so it feels like they be having complete thoughts, but then somebody will tell them like if you want this movie to pop, you know you gotta have a funny scene or you know you gotta have this twist in it. It's like it, it feels like it'd be forced. And it'd be like you don't have to. Hey, if I said like I got a list, it's because I got this fucking invisible line in my mouth. Welcome. Welcome to the club. You'll get rid of it. I was like, I stopped talking with a lisp, I think, after the first couple of months. I don't like that shit, but anyways, man. I don't Invisalign like that shit gag, all. Invisalign gag, nigga. Invisalign. Fuck that lisp shit. <laughs> but uh, I feel like I feel like people try to uh, appease the crowd rather than just getting your complete thought out. Yeah. You do better by just getting your thought out rather than being like, I got to make sure I do these things because this is what made them like this. You're not that. Do yeah. your thing. Do your thing and see if it pop off or not. Yeah, because it don't make sense how all Tubi movies are kind of alike. All Tubi movies have the same formula. Drug deal. <laughs> drug deal and under and underground cheating shit. It's like it's all the same formula. Yeah. And it's working. Like I said, it's, certain shit works. So they know what crowd they're catering to, so I can't even hate on it. But it's like we're that in between crowd where it's like we really care about what's going on. We want to see different shit. Yeah, like I'm I'm okay with seeing like a story, like uh, if you you make a cheating story or whatever, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But like, try not to make it so messy to where it's just like, all right, this shit is kind of it's starting to get stupid now. It's kind of yeah, dumb. it's not you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like you want to. It went from like okay, like, this nigga had a brilliant plan of cheating or whatever, and he did it and stuff like that, but then he get crazy to just, like, now now he's gay because, like, he's sleeping with his goddamn, uh, his, his cousin's homeboy. Some weird shit, like, it just goes, it just goes crazy. I'm like, yeah. like, all right, come on, man. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like, you're just like, well, how can I fit more drama in here? No, you already had enough drama. Just that was, keep it there. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Cheating is enough. Keep, keep it there. Keep it right there. <laughs> And then the, the daddy come visit, like, where is he at? I need to talk to him. You can't be here right now. Why? You don't know about us, do we? Like, oh, now your daddy, you cheating with the daddy because you paying him back. It's like they, they just keep going deeper and deeper. It's literally every film is like trapped in a closet. Yeah. That's that's the perfect uh, analogy <laughs> for it. it that's what goes, it is. It just went too far. R. Kelly was fine with <laughs> one through ten. That nigga said, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, package? <laughs> <laughs> like, you package. You have more ideas. I, like I said, I get it because there's an audience for it. Right. So I get it, but damn. Everything needs an ending. Pretty much. Everything needs an ending, but unless you have the idea for the sequel in the beginning, don't force no sequel in there because you felt like you did good. Yeah. I, I felt like he would end things and then he would start them again. Mm-hmm. Bring one new character and be like, "All right, this is the cousin, like, this is the new girlfriend." Like, nah, nigga. Hey, the daddy from the shot uh, was in the uh, trap in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was. He was. Uh, what was the name in the <laughs> in the closet? Oh man, 
What's his name? Uh, <laughs> I forgot what bro's name was, but uh, he was the he was the gay man that was. <laughs> he was like a pastor or something like that, right? Yeah. You like oh. three? <laughs> oh, she screams. That shit was genius at the time. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was, hey, that shit made me pull over and just listen to it while I was on the radio. Yeah, for real. But, but anyways, man, the shot. <laughs> the shot. All right, man. The shot, man. Let's start it off with the, uh, in the beginning, um, mm-hmm. we see that they're uh, in, we finally meet the dad of uh, of Kenya, which is uh, the Hey, yeah, that was a random introduction. Yeah, it was like he, it, he was just like the first nigga on, on the screen. <laughs> I like who's this nigga? It was like oh, it's the pastor old girl or whatever. I mean, it's the yeah. old girl or whatever. And she's there with him, and he was running this like big, uh, you know, those churches that are just like out of pocket. It's like it's got everything there, and it's like the pastor's all flamboyant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even had the black Jesus with the dreadlocks <laughs> and the uh, the bomber jacket on the stained glass wall. I'm like, all right. Hey, he's he's <laughs> literally talking about nothing but making money. <laughs> That's it. That nigga Jake said, nigga, this is the third time for Clay. I ain't putting no more motherfucking money in that play. <laughs> oh man, this is this is like I didn't dislike this episode, but like it was like one of them things when I when you first see something, you were just like, uh, is that realistic? But I, I guess because no. like at first. At first, when I saw the first, no, lady, don't no, it ain't no. I guess no, it's not realistic. So no, I, seen, I first seen the first lady. I'm like, okay, she's at least what? Let's 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 see how old she's the about twenty. Twenty, just it. Twenty to twenty one. Okay, so it's like because I feel like the pastor's older. The pastor got the pastor in his 40, 30, 30, 40, yeah, something like that. So it's like he had a the um, the first lady or whatever, and you know Jake looking at her or whatever. He's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like checking out the first lady. I'm just like, okay, I, I'm not thinking no more about it. I'm just like, he's just checking her <laughs> out because she's an older woman. He's a younger yeah. man. And she's and she look good. Him. Yeah, and she look good or whatever. She checking him out. He's checking her out or whatever. And I'm like, I didn't think nothing else of it. This nigga gets to the house. I'm just like, <laughs> hey, she just followed me on Instagram. I'm like, this is what we doing? Okay, wait, look, this is what bothers me. <laughs> It's like, I don't know if they forgot what they did previous episodes or they just don't give a fuck. Because first of all, Bakari's just kicking it with him. He ain't got no suit on. Yeah. So this means dude, I gave him a vacation or gave him some time off or something. Because he's just kicking it with them. He got time to go to church with them. Yeah, you would so think with all the suits he wears, he would wear at the church. Mm-mm. Not in there. Uh, we were supposed to forget that Jake was just flirting with this girl. The uh uh the one that Papa was talking to right, who yeah. didn't like her daddy when we was introduced to her. It seemed like her daddy had like ex nade her because she got pregnant or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. But in here, he's like, it's my daughter, I love her type shit. It's weird as fuck. Uh, like you said, Jake checks her out on stage. This guy has a big congregation, but she only notices uh Jake. She liked his dreads. I guess I guess that's what it was. She, said. she was just like, I like your dreads. Yeah, it was just weird. The interaction was weird. And then it's like uh, like you said, she did the follow on Instagram. She come to the house. She suck him off. Crazy. It's it's it's, it's <laughs> insane. It's insane. But it's like at the same time, the preacher was giving off this weird vibe as if like he sent her to do it. Mm, I didn't think about that. It's, it's possible. The, the vibe was weird because he's like, "This is my wife." Y'all coming? Uh, we about to go eat dinner. Papa, you want to go? It's like, why you keep? Why you on Papa so tough, nigga? <laughs> If I was Bakari, I'd have had to strap. Like, Papa, you good? Why this nigga own you like this? Like, why this nigga? Bakari had me rolling in this episode, though. Because it's like, <laughs> I, I forget what you're saying. Because you were like, this nigga goes from, like, I know he's trying to get out of, he's trying to, he's he's moving his way out of the doodle world or whatever. But he's yeah. still he's still Bakari at the end of the day. Like, yeah. we, we know what you did. We don't forget. You shot, yeah. you shot Ronnie in the back of the head, bro. Like, yeah. we, 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 <laughs> So it was just like you, you were the nigga shooting off guns at parties and shit like that. Fucking up, you almost uh, well, you made what's her name lose her baby. Jim Lewis lost the baby, fucking with you. Yeah, so it was like you are who you are, but now he's like holier than thou, or whatever. Like Papa's mom is talking to him, like, <laughs> oh, you should be ashamed of yourself going to that church. I yo, she got a point. This nigga Bakari said that to Papa. I'm like, nigga, if you want to shut the fuck up, hey, why the mama get out? I'm like, nigga, if I asked your opinion, right? She was on that like, nigga helmet. Don't just lie. Now Bakari is just like you said. They 
they're turning him to Tariq, but at the same time, they're turning mm-hmm. him into like, you know, Tariq was Tariq is a we think Tariq is like a schoolboy, but really nigga's a drug dealer and a murderer. So Yeah, so Tariq is like <laughs> Tariq is supposed is trying to be good, but he's bad. And then right. Bakari is bad trying to be good. Bakari also is working for the nigga that shot his best friend's brother. Absolutely. Which is a insane part they they act like didn't happen. Um Papa uh uh, no, not Papa. Uh, the girl. <laughs> Can you? Not not only is Bakari at this church, this weird ass nigga with his two figures at the church too. Uh, that's that's Zay, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to figure. out. I was just like, I know this is nigga Zay, but he kind of looked different because he was dressed like he wasn't in a suit and shit like that. So you could tell it's him because he always got a fucking toothpick in his mouth. Right. Fucking weirdo. But it's like, why are you here? Man, it's what? like it, it's like, what are we? What are we doing? Like, uh, so nobody, so dude, I gave everybody the day off because it's like, it's like Bakari's there, he's there. Is he there to watch Bakari? No, because he's hollering at the pastor's dark, right? Yeah, and, and and she so she went from being <laughs> standoffish, I don't got no time for no man, I only care about my son, to being like, yeah, I'll go out with you, smoke weed, and we can fuck in your car, like, quick. Yeah. Quick. That nigga said, can I take you out? He didn't even take her out. He got in the car with her. Smoked yeah. the weed and hugged up on her. Easy. Where's on at? The sun don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> now you a single mom. Yeah. <laughs> that shit the, is crazy. The drama just happens so fast. Nigga, Leon comes to the door. <laughs> This nigga always got the same smile on the hill. Got that same twisted smile. <laughs> Leon comes to the door like, hey, you looking good? I'm here to see my son. Dad? Nigga. <laughs> Everybody tied together, man. I swear. Wait a minute. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, The son. Iman Shumper. What's his character's name? Rob. So Rob, right? Mm-hmm. I'm about to rewind time. So we meet Rob. Rob got money. Mm-hmm. Rob is balling. Next season, Rob is broke. Rob <laughs> is trying to sell weed. <laughs> Next season, Rob mama is rich than a motherfucker. Rob mama got mob ties and all kind of shit. And his daddy next, rich. Yeah, and his daddy. No, no, I'm saying. So next season, yeah, we find out his daddy rich too. Mm-hmm. What? Why? <laughs> why are we doing this? It's like we're supposed to forget about that. I guess they realize. I mean, it, a lot of shows go through this. It's just like you know, they they have to. They don't think people are gonna go back and like think about it. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, this is now. You know what I mean? Like some characters, you know, they might had a they might have a a character that died off in one season. It's just like <laughs> that nigga back as another character. You're like, yo, what did this nigga die? That's not the same nigga. <laughs> I, I'm just not understanding. Uh, Rob was, uh, he was in that parking lot by himself with Nuck, ran up on him, pushed the gun to his where he got shot at, didn't hurt. And here it hurts to stretch. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> Emmett go play laser tag with his daddy. His brother's there playing with him. <laughs> That shit was funny. That nigga was like, I thought it was supposed to be a father or something. He's like, it is. <laughs> like, who is this nigga? I'm trying to figure out, okay, like, there's another thing that's kind of, like, unrealistic. Like, okay, like, he's been around his dad for a while now. You're telling me you don't know none of your dad's kids? You know, none of your dad's They all live in Chicago. But Okay, so rewind, rewind, rewind time again. When he when we first meet his daddy, he's at the house with two women and hella kids, and these are all supposed to be his siblings. Right. What the fuck they've been at since then? That's what I'm saying. So I was like, when you when they introduce characters like that, I'm just like, okay, something ain't right with this nigga. Like, apparently, they lining it up now because Papa gonna start working for the preacher and he gonna mm-hmm. need help at Smokey's, so he's gonna mm-hmm. hire an old boy. Easy mm-hmm. call, whatever, right? But there's gonna be something that goes along with that. You know what I mean? He's that gonna brother, be gay. <laughs> I get, no, I guarantee that. That he's brother gay. ain't there for no reason. He's, he's that brother ain't there for no reason. He gonna find out he working for duty. He be just like, ouch. Hey, man, can I get a job? 
<laughs> no, nah, he's going to be gay, and Emmett's not going to accept it, and we're going to get that back and forth about him see, not being accepted. I could see that if it was a friend. I, th- I that, that would make sense to me if that was, like, a friend of the family. They wanted to put him in there, and then he hit on Emmett. No, you know what? He's going to be gay, and Emmett's daddy ain't going to accept it, but Emmett's going to accept it, and that's going to be the, the gap to bridge their, their friendship as brothers. Hey, man, I don't know. Whatever it is, it – I feel like he's gonna be somebody in this. I hope it, I hope it's just not the hope his sexuality is not what his character is about. That's what it is. I hope they're gonna add another character that I gotta remember the name of. He gonna be <laughs> somebody that helps in, in some it's, kind of way kill Duda. It, it's a lot of fucking characters in it. No death. I keep telling you, man. Look, if you haven't noticed yet, there's no death coming. Duda's dying soon. Nobody's I dying. I, I mean, I think people are, somebody's going to die. I don't know who it is, but somebody's dying soon. I just hope it's somebody that we care about. Jail. When I say care about, I mean like a character that's been there for longer. Not like we care about that needs to be there. Because, of course, Emmett's not going nowhere. Mm. Uh, Papa and all the kids, they're not, they're the, not going nowhere. So who do you think we care about that they can kill off and we will care about? <sighs> Nook. Uh, Zay. Zay ain't going to die because Zay's getting with the pastor's daughter. I mean, that ain't gonna matter because who's her character for real? Uh, she ain't important, but she's she's uh they're forcing into this universe by writing off her son. Yeah, they got they got her uh, her being with Papa makes more sense because now she's a main character because Papa's a main character. Mm-hmm. Her being with Zay, she ain't gonna be in a lot of episodes. They want Zay to be a main character. Zay is literally showing up everywhere he don't need to be. I mean, just like you said, they have the day off. Zay, Zay showed up to uh, approach Emmett. Zay showed <laughs> Zay showed up to, to Jake's makeshift uh, clothing store. Oh. <laughs> they showed up to church. Zay's just showing up. I mean, I feel like we're gonna figure it out. I feel like in the next episode, and we just like, did you do what I told you to do? It's like, yeah, I checked on it. It's just like pretty much he went there checking on Bakari. He went there, you know what I mean? But he ends up meeting Kenya at when while he's checking up on Bakari. Cause what's her name? Is what's her name supposed to be checking up on Bacar? She having she having dinners with uh, rib lips, you know what I mean? And she at the studio writing rhymes, so she ain't been she checking up on color rib. <laughs> she got the rib lips, her whole mouth like a, a McRib. <laughs> <laughs> She's so stupid. She gonna go in there after uh, she found out that uh, <laughs> she found out that Jake. Uh, smash the passers and she gonna go in there and dance for uh hey don't skip don't skip past that part the way jake said it <laughs> that shit was funny i like jake in this episode just because of that he was just like are we gonna be honest he's just like all right first lady came over here let me hey, like, <laughs> let me ask you did you even notice that she was crying uh not until afterwards <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until afterwards, I saw the tears running down her eyes. I was like, "What the fuck you crying about, man? You in there playing? Uh, <laughs> playing? You, house you ain't fuck Brittany? <laughs> yeah, you in there playing house? You were just like, you tell them you ain't. You know, she was like, "All right, we kiss. We're just like, all right, what the fuck? She was like, "Well, you <laughs> fucked her. I'm like, man, like, what does that? What does that mean? You cheated first, and you didn't tell me. You talking about be honest? Hey, the way, hey, Jake, be so. <laughs> That nigga said, "What well, do you think I'm just gonna be with you forever?" <laughs> that shit's funny. I don't know, that shit's hilarious. It was just like, man, we, I'm 18. <laughs> the way he say shit so matter of factly, like, like she should have known that. Like, yeah. no, I'm 18. You thought I was gonna be with you forever, but he said like, in, not like in an asshole, like a, like be realistic. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't want to fuck only you. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like, be honest. It was just like, I want to be with you and all, but. You know what I mean? It's like I'm 18. Like I'm what the fuck you want me to do? That's the best excuse you could give ever. If you 18 years old, you'd be like, why'd you do this? I'm 18. That's you? not an excuse, nigga. I'm 18. <laughs> what you think? Hey, Blake, Jake with a black uh Jake, Jake would have blacked her eye if she said I fuck Papa. I'm 18. What you think? He would have took off on her ass. I don't think he would have cared, bro. Honestly. Like the way he is, uh, the way we've seen this character, nigga, he would have been just like, what? <laughs> hey man, you gotta get the fuck out of here. You would have said one of them. You would have given one of those. I mean, you gotta get the fuck out. And he would have came and popped a hella sideways, if anything. But he wouldn't. He would. I don't think he'd give a fuck about her like that. Jake is fucking hilarious, man. That nigga's hilarious. That nigga told the pastor's wife, "I don't spend no money on you." <laughs> he was just like, "When am I gonna see you?" He was like, "Pray on it." 
like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if they smart, if they smart in the future, Jake will be a pimp. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm trying to figure out what him and uh, the preacher's wife have going on. Like how you said, like, what if she sent It's just him? weird. What if she sent him to do that? But at the same time, it's just like, well, what would she need Jake for? That's what I'm saying. It, the, the whole situation with her, her her checking him out in front of the pastor was weird. Hmm. Her following him on Instagram was weird. And then her coming to his apartment was just weird as fuck. Like it, it, it literally was. And then nigga said two words for her. Then she just dropped down to her knees. She, she was already ready. She was already ready to go. Yeah, um, was, is, is this game that cold? You know, it's like it's funny how they kind of like low key slid Jake out of crime, like low key, like Jake, like remember he was like the nigga, like when he was when he had his other brother or whatever, and he was mm-hmm. like doing most of the violence. But it's like now, he don't really be like you see that nigga smoking and selling clothes now. He's a, you said he was doing violence. Like he was violent back then. Like he was like he was so he was like, uh, like subtle yeah. violent. Like he he was the one that was the troublemaker. Is what I'm trying to say. Like at one point, it's like now you don't really see him involved in nothing really, but his clothing. And no, he- you seen the change up. So when he was a kid, it's like uh, it's like um, how y'all do it out there with y'all Crips and blood stupid shit. Like if you from this neighborhood, I when you go I somewhere know. else. <laughs> <laughs> so Jake was that kid, like. I ain't in the gang, but I live over here. So you ain't finna punk me because my older brother is with the gang. So you, you ain't gonna talk about my brother. So that was his thing. Right. Then he went with Duda. Duda like, no, get out of the street shit to be straight and narrow. Mm-hmm. So I think that was the transition from him being the bad kid. He doesn't want to be the bad kid no more. Right. This is like and that. then his brother got killed. Yeah. So I'm saying it's like his transition made sense for, for him to be what he is now. He's still a young hood nigga, but all he wants is money. Yeah, you don't do like he literally all you see him do is either sell clothes or smoking weed. Smoking weed. That's More it. Fucking bitching now. I mean, hey, he getting hair from the pastor's wife. It's was wild. And then she invited him back to church. It's crazy. And she was like, come on back. It was just like, all right. <laughs> pray on it. The, um, the infatuation with, with their friend group was just weird. It's like they're forcing they're forcing the pastor and his wife like into the world. They're forcing them into the circle of the shy. Oh yeah. So now that Papa is gonna be the assistant, he's gonna be in a lot more episodes. And he just you could tell his like his motive is not, you know what I mean, like a good thing. Like he don't really want Papa to come be his assistant. He wants to like go against the other church and his mom and the dad that I, I think it's I think it's that and I think he knows he can get more money with Papa being younger, you know, uh reaching the audience. Remember he was like your podcast, man, spread the word. It's like he knows he can get more money that way. Get a nigga a mixer. Yeah. Like you gotta have a top of the line equipment if you want to be a top of the line podcaster. It was like nigga, <laughs> come here and bring me this NPC. <laughs> uh, uh, Rashad is about to be head of security, so uh, he's about to be Nuck. <laughs> <That one. laughs> she, she put that nigga in a beef and broccoli trench coat. Oh, like, you, got, you got me looking like Shaft out here. <laughs> He's like, I, ain't, I ain't trying to wear nothing niggas' clothes. We were just like, this ain't nobody else's clothes. Come on, you're the man in these clothes. And he was just he like, said, Would you get a gift? You take it. Yeah, that nigga. Is <laughs> like, I need you to be security. I can swing that. I can, I can swing that. I got a felony, though. though. I can't. <laughs> He's like, I can swing that. This nigga has to be brown. Leather coat, the Luther Vandross leather coat, bro. I was like, that must be a Chicago thing because I ain't never seen nobody <laughs> put on no trench like it was the new sh- That shit look like old. This. this shit butter. <laughs> this shit butter. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Uh, it's dope. I guess it's like him being with her is like you can tell that's just, you know, she's, she's using the hell out of him, man. I feel like at this point, Rashad is going, like, what do you feel like Rashad is going to do, like, have to do for her in order to keep all of that? Because right now, even though he's away from that other girl that, you know, broke up with him, like, mm-hmm. she's going to see that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, like, she's going to come around and see that nigga. He's going to be all dressed. He's going to be in a suit, trench coat. As fuck. Like a fresh nigga going to have the, uh, everything lined up. And she's going to be just mm-hmm. like. Like what's going on? So I, I, I I think it's security now, <laughs> bitch. 
and she going and, and Lynn Willfield's character going to walk right up next to him. She going to be just like, "Who's this?" Oh, it, it, it's a friend. <laughs> it, it's, it's my ex friend. <laughs> I think <laughs> she, she going to be like, oh, "Okay." I think I think what he's doing with Lynn Whipple right now is just his entry in. Yeah. And then he and then it's gonna get to a point where he's gonna be like, I just want to work for you. That's all. I can't keep doing this. And then she's gonna be like, Well, fine, then you just work, you just my security. And that's that's gonna be their balance. He's just gonna be head of her security. It's gonna be thin line in 2011. Hey, you either gonna Mm-mm. get with it or get lost. Mm-mm. Only I'm only saying that because you saw how she still had friend, uh, feelings for Leon. Oh, yeah. That nigga Leon, he was just like, he was in the nigga. He grabbed her cheek with just like, you look like, uh, you look like she's tired. Yeah, you look like you're tired. That's the fucked up thing to say to somebody, by the way. <laughs> she was like, you look like you're lonely. It was just like, you the one who was about to give a nigga a kiss. He was just like, I got to go say bye to my son. This nigga in the back. Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that shit Keep was my you 42 years old. If you don't stop talking to your daddy like you look. <laughs> bye. They go, to, uh, they go have a drink at the bar. Yeah, you know, Leon is, is, you know, pretty much asking them questions like, did you, you know, kill Duda? Or Let me say, wait, 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 before you run through that, that's, that situation flipped so fucking fast. They was laughing and smiling to this nigga just flipped. I ain't one of your, your witnesses. Yeah. Like, damn, nigga, he asked you one question. Yeah. So he's trying to get information out of him, like on what happened and trying to see if he could save Victor or whatever. And nigga was like, fuck you. He dipped out on him. Were those pictures that he pulled out? Was that supposed to be Rob as a kid? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was just like, "Why the hell? What? What? What does that mean?" Hey, it's uh, I don't know if you heard the new Schoolboy album, but that nigga said a line in there which was a bar. That nigga said, "You got to be a deadbeat when the kids got to eat." I was like, "God, you got to be damn. a damn. You have to be a deadbeat when the kids got to eat. You have to be a deadbeat when the kids got to eat. Like pretty much, he ain't got no money, son." No, so he's saying, like, I got to go work. Mm-hmm. But then if I, because Leon said, nigga, I was working. Yeah. It's like, I have to go work so you can eat. But then if I'm not around, you're going to call me a deadbeat. That shit is a catch-22 like a motherfucker. It is. I hear that a lot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you see some of these films or people talking, like, man, my dad wasn't there. Whatever. Like, nigga, how you think we the fucking house was together? Like, how you think? You had we- all the new Jordans. Nigga, that. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> you could spend time with me. I'm like, shut your damn ass. <laughs> it's different if you wasn't there just to not be there. But if he's providing for you, it's like, like you say, you gotta you find that balance, I guess. But yeah, yeah, nah, I get that. Um, what else happened in this uh, this episode other than uh, rib rib tips? <laughs> Gemma going in there and dancing for uh, Bakari's sister. She like kind of brushed her off. She was just like, you know, you had sex with me. It's gonna be different. So you know, they about to. He about to, she about to turn around for real. Yeah, she about to do some things. Um, we talked about Lynn Whitfield and Jason Weaver's character. Uh, how did this end off? How, how did the uh, the episode end? Oh, it ended with Bakari writing in that that diary that's right. gonna get him arrested. <laughs> <laughs> the dumb the dumbest shit you could do is write down what you did. This nigga Moesha now. (laughs) (laughs) Dear diary. (laughs) I killed the nigga that killed Coogie. And I want to do this and this and that. That nigga said, dear diary, please forgive me. I had shooted his ass for my friend. Yeah, I killed him. Ignorant, bro. <laughs> Don't write that down. <laughs> Ignorant. Uh, that nigga asked Papa if he should move out. Yes, nigga, you're making enough money. How how you working for Duda? And uh, you can't move out, but but <laughs> like you said, rib Tim lips. She got this nice ass apartment off of ten grand. Off ten grand, <laughs> nice ass, and she hired a chef, ten thousand dollars. But you you making all of this money for Duda? You can't move out. I don't think he want to move out, honestly. He oh, I mean, Duda might not be paying him a lot of money. Duda might be just shooting him a couple of dollars. It don't make sense. It don't make sense for him to not be paying him a lot of money, but then paying his sister a lot of money to, to watch him. That don't make sense. 
Yeah, somebody gonna find that. Either the mama's gonna find that diary, or Papa gonna find it. Uh, the mom, she is such an, <laughs> a random character. She is because she don't really be there that much. So she don't. When you see her, you're just like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know Papa had a mama. <laughs> I thought his mom was dead. I was his daddy was dead. But yeah, she just pop up randomly. I feel like the first time you seen her is when, you know, what was that? Around the time that uh the dad died, right? We seen her like maybe once every season. They had, they had dinner one time. Mm-hmm. Once every season we see her. Yeah. So But uh, uh I don't remember. So it ended with the diary, I think. I believe that's how it ended. hmm And then uh, that's it. I don't watch no previews till next week. All right, it didn't pop up on mine either. Um Keisha's character with uh with Emmett. I feel like something happened with them. That was last episode when they had sex or whatever, raw mm-hmm. dog. So it's just like you know that she's gonna be pregnant soon. But cause they showed that for a reason. Like why they they showed that as the flashback clip. You know how they showed the flashbacks in the beginning of the episode? Mm-hmm. They flash back to that to her saying, like, we good, just be careful. So it's like, okay, she's gonna get pregnant. But I, yeah. it, it didn't it didn't relate to this episode. Right, but it, it did. They did start talking about like marriage in this episode when the brother came in and was like, "Y'all married or whatever?" She was like, mm. "He was like, yeah." So I was like, "And you know, the nigga might propose soon." Uh, end, end of the season, season either end of the season proposal, uh, beginning oh, of the end season. of the se- end of the season wedding. Mm. Possibility. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. You didn't see Dude out here on this one. You didn't see Nut on this episode. You didn't see uh, Maisha. No, Maisha, that's it. They kicked her out. Just like, yo, listen, we don't need you no more. <laughs> you rapping that bullshit. They ain't even playing her music no more. They play uh, Bakari's sister's music. And the dad was feeling it, too. Dad the was dad like, wanted uh, his daughter to fuck her. Yeah, he was like, what's this? You banging for a young loke? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, don't shoot. The dad was like, don't shoot what you eat, because he, yeah. he know his daughter is a hoe. Yeah, he know he knew it. Yeah. She gonna get it. She 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 definitely gonna get it. And Bakari's sister yeah, gonna I mean, Bakari's sister gonna dip. What's nah, Bakari's I think she's staying. You think she's gonna stay around with her with Gemma? She gonna she gonna stay in the ep of the season. I'm talking about like with Gemma. Um, I, I, I think she's gonna stay with Gemma, but she's gonna get some kind of record deal to where she might have to leave. Who you talking about? You're talking about uh, Bakari's Bakari sister? Get a record deal? Really? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude's gonna be just like, what do you mean get a record deal? Just like, oh yeah, I mean, you know, we they, they gave me a record deal. They're gonna fly me out here. You can't go nowhere. You still got a job. <laughs> this is my dream. I don't give a fuck about your dream, bitch. <laughs> hey, I was never around the table. I just, you you were dreaming of this, huh? Oh yeah. They're <laughs> <laughs> gonna collapse her lung at the table. Here's your dreams right here. <laughs> I still believe. The ending is something happens to where his sister's in danger and Bakari shows up and tries to kill Duda, but Duda goes to jail. Man, I, I have a I have a few predictions, but it's just like I don't at the same time, I don't I don't know if I really believe those because of when it should just be kind of like popping up new characters and shit like that. You don't know who you don't know who's gonna do what at this point. You don't, but it's just it's just going that way. Leon is going to be a permanent character. That's the actor they didn't want to keep on this show. Leon's going to find a way to convict uh, Duda. That's his po- that's his whole point of being here. He's going to convict Duda on that murder. Unless he get killed first. He ain't going to kill. They ain't killing Leon, nigga. Are you crazy? Oh, you talking about Duda? No, I'm talking about Leon's character. Nigga, please. Hey, man. They killed. They, they, I feel man, like they hey. him out only because he's new. Give me a movie that Leon got killed in besides uh, Temptations. <laughs> <laughs> What's up doing? Because Leon don't get killed, nigga. <laughs> like, y'all think y'all can do this to me? See, he oh, wouldn't have got killed if that didn't happen in real life. If they wouldn't have killed him in Temptations. Leon don't get killed in this movie. Yeah, I mean, ain't no telling. Like, I, I'm just looking at it as like he's a new character. Mm-hmm. Nigga probably booked. You got, you know what I mean? To be in a show like consistently, you got to be not really booked to do too many other things. So yeah. who knows? I can yeah, see him. Yeah. I can see them getting them out of here because he's like, man, I got a movie to do. Y'all only said a couple episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all five days. That's it. Nigga. Like, <laughs> I get what y'all can get. Y'all want me to do the smile or what? Do the smile. I'll be like, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, do that every every That's movie. Same. 
fucking smile. That nigga did it as as David Ruffin. Nigga, <laughs> David did. Ruffin didn't smile like that at all. Like, nigga, why are you smiling <sighs> one side of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, but that's where we at, man. Uh, we got comments last week, right? Uh, probably. Yeah, let me look them up. Oh man, uh, I didn't just like I said. I didn't dislike this episode. There's a lot going on. Oh no, no. It, like I said, we're it, we're getting into the month. Like we're getting into the groove of it. So it's like we just flown with the shit now. All right. So um, Patrice Kiddo opens up with a great episode recap. We got to do a paid and full joint. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, he's 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 saying he wants to do a paid in full review. Oh, like the movie. Yeah, the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> I was just like, all right. The uh, movie, nigga. I've been trying to find an angle, but I I mean I'll figure it out. All right. Uh Ashley Nicole 2993 said I found your channel a few months ago, probably because of the power. Love the content. Good looking Appreciate out. you. Uh, Sheldon Gentry 703 said, I never thought about them turning Bakari into Tariq. Big Mista is going to seductively do a drive by. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's the third time we heard that. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, <laughs> everybody look at that nigga like, like where's everybody. he at now? <laughs> that nigga just be in one episode and you don't see him no more. Uh, <laughs> Keisha Good, 1545, said, I told my husband, so they're trying to turn Bakari into Tariq now. Kind of mad at it, though. Uh, I would actually prefer Bakari on the shy than Force. I enjoy mm-hmm. watching this character evolve. Um, he has a long way to go, but it's showing how he has hope of being more than just a goon for Duda. Mm-hmm. Perhaps the journal will save his life. Yeah, <laughs> actually going to take his life. Uh, not a bad episode. However, Victor may disagree. Uh, let's see. Your girl Bree said Golden Brooks was Maya from Girlfriends. That's Jill Marie Jones, aka Tony Child. She specializes in results. So I was like, I thought about that after I said it, but I was like, I'm not I cutting it out at this point. When I was, <laughs> when, I was <laughs> when I was editing it, I was just like, oh damn, that is uh I just know from girlfriends. I don't ask me the names, I don't know. I just know she's from girlfriends. Yeah. Uh Patrice Kittle said Luke James' character is Trig. We ended up saying that later on in that episode. Mm-hmm. I remember I was like, what's Luke James' character? And then I was like, oh, yeah, Trig. So he must be No, we started, call, we started calling the nigga Victor. <laughs> oh, we did. We did start calling that nigga Victor. That's his, that's his name, though. Okay, that is his name. That I thought I was tripping. <laughs> I, think, I think his, what's his called name is... Uh, his street name is Trig. His, his street name is Trig. Uh, so oh, that was all the comments? Those was the comments, that last comment about uh Victor and Trig. So they're, they're it's pretty much the same person. Nah. But anyways, man, like, share, subscribe, talk to talk back wherever. If you dare let us know below how y'all felt about this episode. And we'll be back next week for episode 12. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok. <laughs>